What's up, fellas? Get the hell out of here, man. What's up, fellas? So I had a, a guy ask me uh, how to know when girls shooting a shot to you on uh, social media. Let me explain something to you guys. In life, period, when a woman is shooting her shot at you, She gonna make it understood. All anything else is just she just playing around. So if a girl like your picture and stuff like that, now sometimes a woman might just like your picture, and you guys taking it too serious, and it don't even be her. It be you taking stuff too serious. Just cause a girl like your picture don't mean she want to get down with you. All right. So you, first of all, y'all guys gotta understand that. But beyond that, when a girl liking you and stuff like that, or flirting with you on Instagram. When a girl really wants you, man, she gonna wanna get things off social media. All the other crap is just bull. All right? So I just wanted to point that out. Now we headed out. I'm gonna have to get something to drink, though. I'm gonna have to get something to drink. You thirsty, man? Mm -hmm. All right. So we headed out. We going live, we going live, we going live. Show what we listening to, babe. What y'all know about Chris Breezy? What y'all know about Chris Breezy? You seeing the questions they asking me on the screen, baby? If they're saying let's go, they're saying big bends, and then got the bends truck. You don't got, it's just the, the questions guys no, saying. No, I don't see any questions. All right. So y'all, we headed out tonight. We gonna, we gonna keep it live. We gonna keep it live. I would let y'all listen to the tune, but you know, y'all know how YouTube, y'all seen how YouTube did me yesterday on the live screen doing the divorce court. So y'all know I ain't gonna even mess with that tonight. How do I deal with lack of passion in life? How do I what now? How do I deal with lack of passion in life? In life, mm -hmm. well, the first thing I would ask yourself, ask you, why do you have lack of passion? So, for any of you guys that lack of passion, I'm just gonna let's just assume that you're talking about for like making yourself something, right? Now, if you're a guy and you lack passion and you just cool, you're omega male and you just cool, you don't care about you know the other stuff that people care about, then that's cool. But if you're a guy that, you know, you, you, you like nice things uh, and stuff like that, but you don't got the, the passion to go get it, all right, then the thing you got to ask yourself is, how long do you want to continue to live your life as it is right now? Because the first thing you must understand is only you can change your life. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you somebody who a dreamer, then just understand that 10 years from now, your life going to be just what it is right now if you're a dreamer ain't that gonna change you have to change your life you have to get up so you need to set small goals so what ends up happening with you guys is you guys you have big goals and you get discouraged because you haven't attained small goals before you get a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube you got to get a thousand subscribers if you somebody who want to become a doctor, well, you got to get in med school first before you become a doctor. So you guys got to start setting small goals. And once you once once you accomplish those goals, those small goals, then you start to get bigger goals because that builds your confidence that, man, I can do this. So for a lot of you guys that don't know. I used to could never finish nothing I started. And I think I told you guys about this. I could never finish nothing I started. It wasn't until I got my um, personal training certification that I, I started actually finishing what I started. Now that was a small goal, but it, it gave me the confidence that I can finish what I started. 
And from then on, anything that I've started, back in the day, the old me, when I was writing my first book, the old me probably would have quit after about the third or fourth chapter. Because I would have just thought like, man, this is just, I can't, I ain't gonna be able to finish this book. And I probably would have just quit. But ha having finished getting my personal training certification, it gave me the confidence that I could do anything. So you guys gotta start setting small goals, not big goals. I think everybody wanna be, you know, the, the big rapper, the big football player, big basketball player, and all this other stuff. Well, first you gotta get to high school and you gotta dominate there. Then you gotta dominate in college. You can't go straight to the NFL. You saying any more questions, baby? Um, there was one guy who kept on saying, how do I stop procrastinating? Well, one, one way to stop procrastinating is just what I said. You set small goals. So you give yourself deadlines. Anything I wanna do, I don't just let it, I don't just, you know, play it by ear. You know what I'm saying? I don't play it by ear. I give myself deadlines. So if you got a, if you got something you want to accomplish, give yourself a deadline as to when you need to have had that accomplished. If you don't, if you don't, you'll keep putting it off. So if I didn't give myself a deadline, so if y'all guys want to know how I wrote my book, how I wrote my book was every day I made in my head that I was going to write a chapter. Every day I said I'm gonna write a chapter. And by me doing that, that's how I got the book done. Just by making that small goal of writing a chapter every day. All right. Okay, this guy says I wanna holler at this geez. I wanna holler at this mind girl at the gym that was sending obvious choosing signals, but I don't want to poop where I eat. At the gym? Yeah. He don't work at the gym. If you don't work at the gym, guys, <clears throat> the gym is one of the best places to meet women. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one. If if you somebody that ain't you know pooping where you eat is where you make your money, not you know uh, where you work out and stuff like that. It's only where you make your money. So if you don't if you train there or you work there, then yes, that can be an issue. But if you don't work there, then that ain't where you eat. We say where you where poop where you eat, where you eat is where you make your bread. So if you don't make your bread, you don't eat there. That's just where you work out at. So it ain't no danger of her screwing up your money if things go bad and coming in there saying something and trying to get you to lose your job and all that other type of stuff. Okay, yeah. Can a girl be choosing you even when she knows your girl is sitting right next to you? That's when they really choose you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You look, you you look, <clears throat> guys, let me tell you something. You'll never look more sexy than you do when you with your girl. That's when you look your best. That That's called pre-selection, guys. Unless she 400 pounds. And now she 400 pounds, then no. But like if you got a girl that look decent or hot, Yes, you going yeah, your girl is going to, um, the girl, girls will send you choosing signals. But y'all guys got to understand that a lot of those times when girls do that, it's not that they even want you, it's just that they want to take the attention off of your girl. And they want to see, can they get your attention while you with your girl? So I want y'all guys to understand that a lot of the times it ain't even about you. Sometimes it can be, but a lot of the time she just... She in competition with your girl and she just want to get that attention from your girl. Okay. So it's big ups to the legend. How do you feed scraps to a woman who phone. has a high interest from the beginning of the first day oh. or after the first lay? Mm -hmm. um, love from South Africa. So how do you feed scraps to a woman who has a high interest from the beginning of the first day or after the first lay? Well, you just compliment on something, brother. Showing the crowd there. Oh. Showing the crowd. Y'all check out the crowd. What y'all think about some of these? What they what they look like? Chicken heads? What they look like? Mm. <laughs> what y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all rate them chicks? On a scale of one to ten, put in the comment what y'all rate them chicks. One said thoughts. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough crowd, man. 
He said, once in a while, this is Georgia. Twos and threes, threes and fours. Do y'all do y'all think I should grace them with my presence? Now, see, me and baby, we looking for a hot little tenderoni, right? Me and baby looking for a hot tenderoni. Baby, what you rate these chicks? Oh. I don't know. What you rate them chicks? Do they, you oh. think they deserve our time? No. Huh? Well, let me get a little closer. Uh. Mm -mm. We'll see. You told me, Daddy. Oh, uh, I don't know. All right, these these chicks. I think I see a couple of sevens in there. I don't know. They doable, right? Possibly, yeah. Doable, doable. One other question. What you think about it? that? That one chick. Which one? That chick right there by the, the girl with the with the with the by the girl with the leopard on. The leopard pants. What you think? Oh, the one next to her. Yeah. I don't know. We got to see the face. Mm. <laughs> She's doable. Got to see the face. We got to see the face. I say she's okay. One said, "Amos, let me get sloppy seconds, bro." <laughs> oh Jesus. So y'all don't like none of these chicks? Oh man. Hey, what are they rating these chicks? Okay, so the ratings, they've passed the ratings. Like, All right, like, how about this one right here, babe? Like sevens. No. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. 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 No, no. no. no I'm no. not feeling that one. No. No. What y'all rate them? Three out of ten. Some say some say zeros. One said a ten. I know oh, no. What they're looking at. I don't know what y'all look. Y'all standards low. <laughs> y'all standards low. Man. Okay. I don't even think we're gonna get no parking spot down here. Do they have belly? You think so? Let me check. Any more questions they got for me? Okay, what's something you wish you knew in your twenties? Something I wish I knew in my twenties? Mm -hmm. Uh, instead of buying crap, instead of buying bullshit, invest in yourself. I wish I would have knew that in my 20s. When you get your income tax, don't buy bull crap. Invest in it. And I don't mean index funds or stock market or nothing like that. I mean invest in yourself. Improve your earning potential. That's what you need. Any of you guys in your 20s right now, don't worry about no stocks. Don't worry about no real estate. None of that. Right now, you guys in a phase where you should only be investing in yourself. Then worry about the stocks and the real estate. Right now, you should be only focused on getting your income to six figures. So invest in yourself, pick up more skills, more education, anything like that. Uh, if you're an electrician, figure out what you need to do to become a master electrician. In improve your earning potential. Then once you improve your earning potential, Save your money and start your own business. This is something I keep telling you guys. Save, start your own business. Whatever you doing, working for somebody, you could do that yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's how I started my security company. I'm looking at this dude and I'm counting his money and I'm saying to myself, hold on one second, baby. How you doing? Which club you coming to? I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna go up here. All right, so it's 100 in this slot. Uh -huh. um, 20 all the way down where you see those people walking at. Okay. Uh, if, you got any spots over here? Yeah, we got spots. All right, I'll do that. All right, I'm going to go over here. All right, I'm going to get 100. All right. Randy, we letting this car in to the right. Actually, you almost recording me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she recording you. Man, I just cashed my welfare check, man. Oh, man. man you hey, don't, hey close it up, welfare. close it up. Here you go, man. All right. You Let this car in. This Let me gonna take all my welfare money. Oh, look at it. that was now. Nice. She was okay. You yeah, should have got her, babe. Why you ain't get her, babe? Was... All right. All right. There's some questions here. All right. But uh, let me get back to that question. Yeah, the one about your point. Yeah. Uh, once you invest, once you invest in, uh, no, you can't park over. You parked all crooked. Once you invest in yourself, start your own business. Then figure out what you need to do. 
All right, let's see what you going in the pocket. All right, right now. All right. Which spot? I'm gonna just go up here. They're, what they said, man. Tripping about hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, this Atlanta be tripping, guys. Yeah. How's it going, brother? How you going? Right. Um, it's easier to back in. Back in? All right, I'll back in. That way you'll be able to pull out. All right, I got you. Did you say hi to the camera? You <laughs> said hi. Saw you filming. <laughs> These guys, I guess they love the camera, guys. Actually thought that, but I seen the car coming behind me, so I ain't want to do it. Hey, OG, can you please talk more about the days when, where you kept pushing? Hashtag more purpose. What you said now? He said, can you talk about the days where you kept pushing? When I was like, like grinding. Grinding. What? All right. Right. Oh. Uh -huh. A tight little spot. Uh -huh. I almost went back too. Did you go too far? Yeah, I guess so. This person. Uh, man. They're trying to fit as many people as they possibly uh, can. That's what it is. All right, keep filming, babe. We finna go. We finna go inside. Okay. Let's see what's going on out here. Come on, come on. You close the door good, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's go. Can we get out of here? Yeah, I'm gonna lift this thing up. All right, we go this way. Let's just go this way. What the other question was, baby? Come on, baby. Right. Give me one more question before we go. One more what did it say? Okay, I'll give you a question. Okay. I'm trying to see if I don't want to Okay, there you go. Alright. I'm just going through it. I'm going to get back with y'all guys in a few minutes. That's it, buddy. That's good. I get it. I'm cut up. I got it. Yeah, last question was like, to the lady holding the camera. And the person is in South Africa, 140. What attracted you to AMS or something? Oh. I wasn't going to read that one. But you have to show me how to navigate.